Uh, Kobe Bryant, guys, was, you know what, he's one of Philly's own, but he also had somewhat of a complicated relationship with Philly sports fans. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Coop is live in Center City with that part of our team coverage. Dan. Don, like any relationship, there are ups and downs, and the ups and downs between Kobe Bryant and the Philadelphia fan base really is no different, but it does have a happy ending. If you're a certain age, you may not remember Kobe Bryant's back and forth with Philly fans. He would tear your heart out no matter if he was it was hometown, if it was Philadelphia. 2001 NBA Finals, Kobe's Lakers looking for back-to-back -back NBA titles, says he wants to cut out the hearts of Sixers fans. The cuts were precise in a five-game series. I don't know how else you would want him to react. Would you want Kobe Bryant to come in here as a Laker and lay down to the Sixers? So I didn't have a problem with it, but I think Philadelphia fans, whenever, especially if it's one of their own, they're going to take that very personally. Sixers fans enacted their revenge in 2002, booing Kobe as he raised an all-star MVP award in his hometown. And I was a Sixer fan, and he was a Laker, so and I can see why people wouldn't like him. And why he wouldn't understand he'd get booed here, of course he's going to get booed here as, as a Laker. And when you say you cut your heart out, and at the All-Star game the next year, same thing, he got, it was here, he got booed because he's a Laker. Acrimonious at times, Kobe and the fans softened towards each other over the years as Kobe's final game in his hometown was met with a standing ovation. And you saw the respect with the cheers. I think Kobe came around. The fans came around, and in the end, there was a, a lot of love that was shown between both parties. And in February 2018, he showed us how alike we all really are when it comes to celebrating Eagles Super Bowl wins. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. When he did that stuff after the Eagles won the Super Bowl, he was just like everybody else here. So I guess we kind of made peace with him. <laughs> Just can't watch that video enough. Kobe is and was a cultural icon, and this is one of the greatest losses of a generation. Live in Center City tonight, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Is, was, and always will be. Dan, thank you.